All right, all right, it's Friday night. I already went through my circuit two times. I'm going through it a third, and I'm gonna share that circuit with you. Don't blink, because it might be over before you know it. It's the inverted row. I've got my asymmetrical handles, so now I'm going to reverse it, get the other asymmetry, even it out for maybe three or four reps. Right side is high, left side is low. This is all the carryover from the playground training where this all started. As you're watching, if you have any questions, post below. And if you want to know where to get your own sculpt -to fit home gym system, I'll post the link below. So take a look down there. If you don't see it right now, come back in a little while. I'll post the link where you can learn all about this and how you and your family can be doing the same thing for your fitness right at home or at the office or at the vacation home, or even on the yacht. Wherever you want one, you can have one. Notice how I'm moving slowly, steady, full control, taking momentum out of the movement so that the muscles are doing all the work. I remove all risk of injury. No need to move fast and do any crazy hip movements. None of that crazy cross training stuff. No beast mode. No killing it. No going hard or going home. I'm already home. So that's all good. Yeah. What? Can take yeah, I'm almost done. All right. I'll let you guys know. See, when you train at home, kids need to talk to you. They just open the door and they talk to you. No gym crowds, no traffic, no gym characters, no drama. Right here. 30 minutes max and you're done. So we're done with the asymmetrical variance handles. Get those off. Now we're going to go up top for the old school bar. Still going to use some asymmetry here. So we're going to go here with the right hand, inside with the left. Three reps each side. Again, slow and steady. Other side now for three, left hand here, right hand on the inside. See the pause? Down slowly. So that's only six reps total, three each side. When you're moving slowly, steadily, taking momentum out of the movements, the muscle fibers are doing more of the work, so you don't need to do as many repetitions. That lets you shorten it, shorten the training sessions, reduce the risk of injuries on the shoulders, neck, wherever. All right. So now we're gonna go into some suspension straps. We'll do the chest first, then we'll go to back. And we're almost done here. 
So watch the motion, asymmetrical. The asymmetry of a lot of my movements are responsible for being able to train for shorter amounts of time and get better results. And I'm not just saying I get better results. I think you can see that the results are speaking and showing for themselves right in front of your eyes, right on the camera. Now, I don't say that to brag. I say that to inspire you because at the end of the day, this is not just about how you look in the mirror or how other people might admire the physique or the body. This is about internal health, wellness, longevity, quality of life. This is about getting the most out of the one body that you have for the entire course of your lifetime. And the whole point is if you do it right, if you take care of yourself properly, if you maintain this one body that you have, this vehicle that carries you through an entire lifetime, if you take care of it from the inside out, then the outside is going to be a reflection of how you take care of it on the inside. And I don't mean just with proper exercise. I also mean by how you feed it, how you nurture it, how you supplement it, how you take care of it from a holistic aspect. Take care of it from the inside out, and the results will show on the outside. That's the side benefit. That's the side effect. That's the, the visible benefit of taking care of yourself from a true place of valuing your life, your health, your wellness, your longevity. All right, we're almost done. So let's see here. That was chest. We're gonna do a back set here with the bands. So I'm giving you a little variety here tonight for this Friday night fitness fix. A little band work, a little high to low abduction Pulling the band, pulling the arm away from the body, really working the upper back, getting some beautiful muscle tone kicking in back there, working my posture muscles, getting some great work on the shoulder joint as we're working those posture muscles of the back. My core is kicking in to keep my body stabilized on the feet, no need to sit down, no need to get in a silly bench or a, a chair that holds your legs down so you can pull any big weights. Who does that? You don't sit down when you're doing stuff. We're humans, we're made to be on our feet. This is a functional body. Train on your feet for the most part, whenever you can, because the core does its job stabilizing the body we get a nice subtle fat burning effect because we're asking the whole body to work as one unit as we're placing focus and emphasis on certain body zones we're still asking the body to work as one complete unit when we're doing this kind of stuff and this isn't theory this isn't hypothetical this is the real deal. You're seeing it in front of your eyes, in the flesh. I used to do all that hardcore stuff, the heavy lifting, the joint pounding, crushing weight lifting, the forced reps, the, the spotting sets, all that stuff. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do any of that. That's it. We're done. That was my last circuit. The first two circuits were almost the same, just slight variations. I had my asymmetrical bars down low. I did a few push-up sets with most body weight. I had my feet elevated on the ball for one of those sets. I even lifted one leg at a time to get extra stimulation on the chest, more deep, fi deep muscle fiber stimulation. And again, 
almost everything on the feet. There's no chair here. There's no bench to sit down on. The benefit of doing all that is that we get the core to work while we're doing the other body zones. So that's it for me, Joey Atlas, with your Friday Night Fitness Fix. I hope this inspires you. Oh, and if you're wondering about the hat, no backwards hat tonight, no bald shaved head. Tomorrow might be a beach day because it's Saturday. So I got my sun protection beach hat out early, made sure it fits, it's clean, it's nice, and you get to see it. So that's it. From the inside out, I'm ready for the beach tomorrow. You got any questions, post below. And as always, thank you for watching. Remember, Joey loves you. Any questions about the home gym unit, post below and I'll share the link.